We're going to start in the parallel position, please. Bending the knees down, dropping down into a chair position. Squeeze your hamstring butt connection points. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Turn your palms towards each other. We go into the hammer curl. And folding up, one. Two. Now I want you to go right into your insertion points of your adductors and squeeze them. Sylvia, you look like your legs, your feet could be a little further away from you. And I just want you to check that you're in a really true parallel position with your feet. That you're not rotated, that you're parallel. Really squeeze those inner thighs, please. Keep pressing your backs against the wall. Keep squeezing your hamstring butt connection points and keep drawing your pelvic floors in and up. Morning Elizabeth. Nearly there. Are we? No, we're not. We're not nearly there. I've got no idea. I'm just hammering away. Ten. Ten nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Use your leg to come away from the wall. Do not use your head. Okay, so Esmeralda, when you come off the wall, be careful that you don't do that with your head. I'm not sure whether that's what you did. It looked like you did, so just be careful with the neck. Wide position with the legs. You find your own wide position that's comfortable for your hips. Drop back to the wall. Drop down into a lunge, take your feet away from you so you can really sit down comfortably like you're sitting in a chair. Palms out in front of you, shoulder blades down the back, and fold all the way in, one, two, three, four, five, good morning Arantxa, six, seven, Belly's back, eight, nine, ten, one, two, belly's back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, do not push away with your head. Wind your legs back in, slowly come back up. The next one we're going to do, we're going to do in a parallel position and we're going to hold it for 60 reps. We're going to do 60 reps like this. Not 60, sorry, 20 reps with our palms facing our body. Then we're going to do 20 reps with our palms facing each other. Then we're going to flick it around and do another 20 facing away from our body. So it just changes the way the bicep is working. So we go facing, palms facing, palms facing away. 20 positions in each. 20 reps in each. Feet away from you, drop right down to the wall. Squeeze your inner thighs, inner thighs right at the top, squeeze your hamstrings. Let's start with our palms facing each other. We're pumping from the deltoid bicep connection point and pump. One, two, pull from the lats. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six,
six, five, four, three, two, one. Palms facing each other. This is going to burn, guys, and pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good morning, Frankie. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Palms away from you. This is going to hurt. One, two, three, four. Elbows narrow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Come away from the wall. Oh, that feels really, really good. Okay, push ups against the wall. Ten slow triceps. Ten slow wide. Ten slow tricep. Ten slow wide. Esmeralda, up to you. I think go against the wall. Mandy's saying we need to do three reps today. Okay, so three of each. Those of you that are on the floor, you take it at your own space. Paul, you're on the floor. Esme, it's up to you. Be careful. Do it on your knees if you're going to go on the floor. Um, everyone else onto the wall, please. And Chelsea, up to you what you want to do. Okay, here we go. Find our positions. Push away from the wall to start with. Be careful where your head placement is. Imagine there's a big ball in front of you. Dropping in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Pushing away from the floor. Nine. Ten. Change your hand positions. Now we're going to use our pecs and our backs and dropping in one. Be careful of your neck placement. Two. Three. Those of you that have got your hands on the wall, please check that your hands are level with your shoulders and a little bit wider than the shoulders. So align with shoulders and slightly wider. Four, six, six, seven, eight. Use your backs. Nine and ten. Rest. Shake your wrists out, especially those of you that are on the floor. Find your positions. Push away from the wall. Push away from the floor. Open up the space between your shoulder blades and dropping in one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change positions and dropping in one. Two, use your back muscles, please. Three, four, check your head placement. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest, shake your wrists out, shake your shoulders out. Last reps, parallel position, drop in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
Rotate your fingers towards each other. Last round, drop in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Coming away from the wall. Take your weights. Elizabeth, we're going to do some lunges, so this might be the time for you to do your remedial knee. We're going to do 15 on each side with a 10 second hold twice, just for you to gauge your time. Everyone else, weights in your hands, wide position with your legs, twist, my foot is up at the back, tuck your pelvis under. Press your fingers back to activate your triceps. So be careful with your knees as you drop down. My knee is perfectly aligned with my foot. This knee is not going to the floor. Squeeze that glute and lift up one. Squeeze. Two. Press the hands back so you can feel your lats. Three. Four. So your body is going straight up and down. Five, it is not going forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, squeeze that butt. Three, two, one. Hold and squeeze. Ten. Nine, press your arms back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change positions. Come to a wide position with your legs. If you start here, this gets you into the correct position. Wide, twist. Tuck under with the pelvis. Stretch the arms back. Press through the triceps and the lats. Drop one. Two, three, four, squeeze your butts, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, one, hold, ten, nine, eight, squeeze, seven, six, five, four, squeeze it, four, three, two, one, change sides. Okay, never go too down, too far down, there's too much on the knee. You can see my knee is like a good, that far away from the floor. Find your positions, press your hands back, open up through your shoulders. Drop down, one. Push into this hip flexor, two. Squeeze your bottom, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, hold, five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change sides. It's hot, isn't it? Tuck under, press back, squeeze your butt cheek, pull into your, pull into your psoas and drop one. Two, three, press through your arms so you can feel your triceps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, hold, ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Slightly rotate.
elevated position. You can either go a flat foot, okay, if that is better for your knees, or you can come on a slight demi point. So we're not in a high, we're in a demi. Squeeze the inner thighs together, wrap into the backs of your hamstring butt connection points. Feel that wrap. Bring your arms up, slightly bend the knees, and press. One, squeeze from the hamstring butt connection point. Two, squeeze. Three, squeeze. Four, you're not coming to a straight leg. I'm always bent. So I look a little bit like a frog. Five, six, seven, squeeze. Squeeze right in here. Eight, squeeze that pelvic floor. Nine, ten, keep wrapping. Squeeze in here. One, feel like you've got two little knitting needles that are just jabbing you in your hamstring butt connection points. Thirteen. Five, six, pelvic floors up. Seven, eight, pump your biceps. Ten more. Ten, squeeze. Nine, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, rest. Parallel position with the legs. I'm just going to have a little bit of water. Hang on a sec. Is that too loud? Parallel position with the legs. Hands out to the sides. Circles. One, two, Three, use your backs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it. One, squeeze the inner thighs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, rest, turn down position, take this leg forward, take this leg back into a lunge. Press into this hip flexor. Okay, there's an opportunity that you get a stretch. I don't do that much stretching on a Saturday. Here's your, here's your stretch time. Hands up in front, circle, or one. Two, I was going to say Esme, don't do the stretch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change directions, change leg. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. Double arm triceps. Let's just quickly get them done. We've got to do them at some point, so we might as well just do the double arms, so we don't take up too much time. Bend the knees. Drop the pelvis forward. Arch in the back. Roll the shoulders back. Extend out. One, two, three. Four, five, six, keep your wrists strong. Seven, eight, nine, ten, squeeze your inner thighs. One, two, keep your elbows up. Three, four, it's just the elbow that is bending. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, shoulders down. Ten. One. Two. Three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight. Squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one little claps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold them. Tiny little bends. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Well done. Roll those shoulders around. We're going to do one that we did on Thursday, which I don't really like very much. Um, we're going to do the fly. I'm only going to make you do them 10 times, but we're going to do it with a three second hold. I want to do it only because I really want to get our back strengthening, and this is a great back strengthener. Bend the knees slightly, elbows are slightly bent. Check where your head placement is, so it's uh, comfortable on your neck. Think of using the muscle that is between your shoulder blades, which is called your rhomboids. You're going to pull from there and we're going to hold for three seconds. Here we go. And we pull up. One, two, three, and bring it back down. Use your pecs. And up. Use between the shoulder blades. Hold. One, two, three, and back. And up. One. Belly's back. Two, three. Up and up. One, two, three, and back. I hate this just as much as you. And up. Hold. One, two, three, five more. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. We're nearly done. Up, one, two, three, rest. Oh, one more. Oh, one more. Up, one, two, three, rest. Pop your waist down and go grab your chair. Sorry. No dragging of the chair, Natalia. Sorry. Got my wife in the background going like this. Don't drag the chair. Okay, so we're going to start, we're going to do some calf rises. Chels, up to you how many you do of these. Esmeralda, up to you how many you do of these as well. Parallel position right under the hips. We're going to do 10 slow. Rising up one. Now feel your gastrocnemiuses, they're the two little balls inside your, your calf muscles pulling right up. Spread your toes onto the floor. Up two. Now I know there are some of you that are thinking, I don't really want to build my calf muscles. Okay, if you, if you feel like you don't like the shape of your leg of, of down in the calf muscle section. We are toning. Okay, it's not necessarily going to build them. It's going to tone them and your calf muscles still need to be strong for leg function. This is also ankle stability. Four, six, Seven. Pelvic floors up. Eight. Feel like you've got a really tight pair of jeans on, so two of those jeans up. Nine. Ten. Now take this leg next to your other leg. Keep it all in parallel. Ten more reps. One. Two. Three, four. My leg is just.
just resting on my ankle. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Change positions. Now this leg is also working in here. Stick that kneading needle right up into your glute hamstring connection point and keep it there. One. Two, three, four. So the whole leg is working from the foot all the way up to the glute. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turned out position. Now when we're in this turned out position, that spiraling starts from the base of the feet, it comes all the way up into the inner thighs, wraps into the back of the leg. 20 reps in turn out, then we're going to calf muscles. Keep your water in your bucket. Imagine your pelvis is a bucket of water. Keep the water in. Lift up one. Keep wrapping into the back of the leg. Two. Pelvic floors up. Three. Four. Five. If you want to check your balance, six, hands off, seven, eight, there you go, that's a good, a good sign for me with my infection, I can balance again, ten, one, but I still can't count, two, three, four, keep that wrapping sensation, five, keep squeezing those hamstrings, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Hold it up there. Ten. Now pull those calf muscles up. Wrap into the back of the leg. Eight, seven. Squeeze at the top here. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and resting, facing your bars. Parallel position with the leg, both legs. The leg is going to go back, we are in parallel, we are not in turnout. Those of you that have a natural tendency to turn out, Sylvia, make sure that you're in parallel. Yeah, your natural tendency is to do that. Take the leg back, you can see my torso is tipping forward slightly. Now we're going to think of using glute, hamstring, glute, hamstring, butt connection point. Lift up, one. Doesn't have to be a high lift. Two. Now my working leg is also the leg on the floor. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now it's a Saturday, so we're going to do 30. Uh, Mandy's suggestion. I wrote 10, she said 30. Where are we at now? 12. 12, gosh. 13. 14. Now, it's normal if this underneath leg is starting to hurt. Okay, it's also working. One, or 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh it's hard, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shake it out, oh man, that is nasty, very nasty. Right, we've got one more bit. I'm not doing all the bits she suggested. We're just doing one more section. We won't be able to walk if we do all the bits you've suggested. Bend the knee, extend it back, lift it. Circles. One, two, three, four. Keep the knee stable. Five, six, hip stable. Seven, eight. Nine, it's very hard to keep the hips stable. Ten, reverse it. One, two, off. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Everyone else feel that like me, or am I just a big old winger? and straight to start with. Lift up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, just give a bit of a wiggle around, a bit of a shake out. Bend both knees, extend the leg back, lift it off and bend. Flex the foot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, give it a little rest, elongate it back, keep the leg bent, whoa, circles, one, two, three, try and keep the hip as stable as you can, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, and ten. Woo! Thank you, Mandy, for that little repertoire. <laughs> now, very gently, fold your body forward. Gently, gently, gently. We've just worked those hamstrings. Don't go fast into it, please. Take your hands onto your bar, stretch your hamstrings out, and just relax there for a moment.
hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Feel the tops of those hamstrings like a big open mouth, taking a huge big yawn. Bend the knees, come back up, and let's go back down to our mat, please. Holy dooly. Take some water if you need some water. through the prep 100 series which we've all done a million times before. Prep 100 series, point fives please ladies. Paul, you can go with whatever weight you want. Prep 100 series is what we would do on the reformer, lower backs flat on the mat, we go 10 with the arms, Five extensions on each leg. Ten. Ten double-legged extensions. And then today we're going to do ten double extension head, head lifting, one beat, return back, double beat, return back, all the way through to ten. Then we're going to go back ten, back down to one. Lee might not want to bring her head up. Those of you that don't want to bring your neck up, you do not have to, break. when we're doing the beats, okay, you're holding your neck up for a long period of time and that's not always comfortable, especially if you've got problems in the neck. So just keep your head down, it's no problem at all. You're just working your lower abs a little bit more intensely. Okay, once we start, we don't stop. Please keep your lower backs pressed into the mat or just flat. Once your belly, no weights, Esmeralda, hand weights only. Everyone ready? Thumbs up. We're going to use our back muscles as we begin the process. Breath out, suck the belly down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Suck that belly down. Seven, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Five extensions on each side. One, do not let your back arch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, ten double. One, keep your backs flat on the mat, so gauge where you can put your legs. Two, three, four, remember your pelvic floor. Five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Now this is where we do the beats. We lift up with our head and shoulders. If you choose, beat the legs together once. Return back. Breath out, beat the legs together twice. Three times. One, two, three. Four times. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten back down to one. And 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your head down, Lee. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Keeping your head down makes it harder on your lower abs. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great idea, Nat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to six. One, two, three, four, five, six to five. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three. Two, one, two. Last one. And one, and rest. Thanks for that repertoire, Natalia. <laughs> Won't be doing that one again through somewhere, I don't think. I'm going to give our abs a little rest. We're going to come to our side, then we're going to come back to the abs. Let's lay on our side, please. Make sure you've got a pillow for your knee, for your head, sorry. I have got quite a few more abs to do, but I'm just going to give, give them a little moment of rest. 15 minutes left, is that all? Yeah. Okay. L series, please. Legs in. Uh, to, to, to chair position. Bottom sticking out so you're in neutral spine. Lift the leg. Open the leg. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a Saturday, we don't stop, unfortunately. One, two, tiny circles, three, Four, poor Annalise. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, just a little five second break. Five, Four, three, two, one, up, and big circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, reverse it. One, two, three, four, five. Shoulders down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't drop. Rotate. Oh, I don't know that I could do it without dropping. I'm going to try. Go. One. Oh, two. Three. Esmeralda, take it easy. Four. Five. Oh, my bottom's cramping. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, okay. Lay on your back. Take it into... That was horrible as well. Take it into a stretch that you want. You've got your upside down pigeon or you've got your normal glute stretch, whichever one you would like to do today.
Give it another good 10 seconds. And changing sides. L shape with the legs. Neutral spine position with the back. Lift the leg off. Open up one. Two, squeeze at the top. Remember my squeezing the juice out the orange explanation. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze. Squeeze. Otherwise you're just kind of plopping in and out of the position rather than actually utilizing the muscle to its full potential. How many have we done? Nine. Nine and ten. Circles. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm getting faster and faster, yes, ten, reverse, ten, nine, eight, seven, oh, six, five, four, three, two, one, five second break. Lift it. <laughs> Big ones. One, two, three, four, five, six is your hand giving you moral support, Nat. Seven, eight. That's actually quite nice to do that. Nine, ten. Reverse it. One, Kind of doesn't do much, but it kind of makes the leg feel like it's being supported by another part of your body. Oh, five, five, six, seven, eight. Now we are going to have a little rest in between this last one because that last time I did that was just terrible. Give it a small rest. Lift it up, rotate, and one. Two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it into a stretch. I don't know why these side leg series this week have felt so difficult, but I feel like I'm trying to move a tree trunk when I move my leg on the side this week. Alright, so let's come up to a seated position. Mandy has banned me from doing this for a couple of weeks because I used to do it all the time, but I want to do the traffic controller and the obliques because I love them. I've given you two weeks without doing them, but we're just going to do four of each. I think when you do them again, you think, oh, it's quite nice to do this. <laughs> Arms up. Find your serratus anteriors, please. Take a breath in. Breath out, pull your hip bones away from your knee bones. How does that feel in your back, Paul? Take a deep breath in, not so far back now, come up a little bit. Breath out, one arm. And bring it back. Second arm. And back. Double arms, really suck those bellies back and roll back up. So some of you are going too far back. I'm not here. It's, it's, you're just rocking off and onto the top of your sacral bone. Just off your bones. You, you're just off your sitting bones. 
And the thing is you want to pull those hip bones away from your knees so you're in a nice comfortable position for your back. Hands up, take a deep breath in, everyone looks knackered. Breath out, pull back. Breath in, breath out, one arm. Second arm. Double arms. Roll back up, two more reps. Deep breath in, breath out, roll back. Breath out, one arm. Second arm. Double arms. And rolling back. Last one, breath out, roll back. One arm. Second arm. Double arms. And roll back. So that should be starting to feel quite breezy, that exercise, after not doing it for a while. Take your arms across your chest. Breath out, roll back. I felt a few eye rolls then at that comment of that should feel breezy. Breath out, twist to the side. In, stay. How does that feel on your back, Paul? Breath out, hold. In, twist to the center. Breath out, twist to the other side. And that side pull, how does that feel? Breath in, hold. Breath out, hold. In, twist back, out, roll back up. Now you can just do some stretching of your psoas if it's starting to hurt your coccyx. Breath out, roll back. Esmeralda, how does this feel on your back? Breath out and twist. In, stay. Out, stay. In, twist back. Out, twist. In, stay. Out, stay. In, twist back. Out, roll back up. Two more reps. Breath out, roll back. It's a Saturday. It's relentless. Out, twist. In, hold. Out, hold. In, twist back. Out, twist. In, stay, out, stay, in, twist back, out, roll back up. Last one, breath out, roll back. In, stay, out, twist, in, hold, out, hold, in, twist back, out, twist, in, stay, out, stay, in, twist back, out, roll back up. Sitting into a mermaid position, please. I love the mermaid because I feel like you just feel lots of different bits and pieces stretching. If you actually physically go into your body, you'll feel maybe through the groin, maybe through the hip flexor, so it's kind of a multi-purpose stretch. Drop down to your arm, uh, to your, to the floor, that is, not your. Take your arm all the way over, open up your ribs. Feel all of your intercostal muscles spraying open. Elongate that arm as much as you can so you can get that fascia stretching. Twist. Twist back. this leg going over. Now those of you that have tight hip flexors or problematic hip flexors like me, I can feel this hip, hip flexor screaming at me when I do this stretch. Changing sides. So it's very hard for me to tell you where you'll feel it in the mermaid. And drop to the floor. Spread open your intercostal muscles. Elongate all the way through your fingers so you feel your fascia stretching. Do a hair adjustment. Twist. Twist back. 
lift, press, and stretch over. And that's a wrap for today, everybody.